Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Emergency officials ask public to avoid flood-prone areas. Emergency personnel on New Hampshire's seacoast spent Friday dealing with a nor'easter that brought blasting winds and heavy rain. The storm considered with astronomical high tides that are causing a lot of flooding on roads along beaches. In between high tides, locals and peoples from as far as Worcester, Massachusetts showed up to witness the sight and sound of the stormy sea. Rye police said that despite road closures, they had to go to Ocean Boulevard an hour before high tide to clear people out of the area. Police posted dash cam video showing waves crashing over the seawall at one point dousing the cruiser. Though the wind and rain died down Saturday, officials are still dealing with flooding from the astronomical tides and are asking the public to avoid those areas. Rye police said spectators slow down their response and tender efforts from New Hampshire Department of Transportation crews to maintain the seawalls and prevent more flooding. Department of Transportation officials closed Ocean Boulevard in Hampton from Atlantic Avenue to the Rye town line for flooding around 10.30 a.m. By 11.45 a.m., Route 101 was closed down at Glad Path in Hampton. Officials said no vehicles will be allowed to enter the beach. Safety officials are also closed down Rye Beach to all traffic, including pedestrians. Ocean Boulevard is closed in the area of Ordinor State Park. Lafayette Road is closed at the Hampton, Hampton Falls town line. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports and another newscast. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.